It's an award show in 2009, <clears throat> and America's sweetheart and the sweetheart of so many, uh, so many simpy alt right guys uh, at the time. Taylor Swift, cute, blonde, seemingly apolitical, maybe even, you know, fashy friendly uh, Taylor Swift. Because she's blonde and Aryan looking and stuff. And some and she took her picture with somebody wearing a swastika. Didn't say anything about it or something like that. I read that somewhere in some article. I think it was at Countercurrents. And so uh, she goes up <clears throat> because she won an award at this, uh, at this show, this award show. And then uh, <laughs> who, come, who should come up and get in her way but Kanye West. And he says, I'm going to let you finish, but Beyonce had the greatest album of all time. And everybody is incensed, everybody who's white. <laughs> and especially alt-right people are incensed and think, how dare that, mm, that, nuh, you know, uh, get in the way of our lovely sweetheart Shantus, our our blonde Aryan princess who we love uh, and who's one of us if she would just just admit to it um, uh, Taylor Swift um, and how dare that you know and, and there was it was about you know a race war was about to break out I'm exaggerating but in people's minds it was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me at him. Let me at it. Let me at that. You know, this rapper, this rapper, rap is crap, man. Rap is crap. You know, um, it's crap music. It's not rap music. It's crap music. <laughs> this is 2009 vibes. Um, well, who would have thought that everything you were seeing and everything you were feeling about that incident was wrong? Everything was wrong because it turned out uh, in due time uh, when Taylor Swift manifested her true self that she was just another third wave feminist, pro abortion, anti white, uh, pro slut walk whore. Just another one. Um, and all of you alt right guys had simped. So hard for her, just because she was blonde and cute. You just thought, oh yeah, I could wife her up and we could have uh, a beautiful Aryan family together. You know, 12 kids and and uh, ensure uh, a, the, a, a future for white children. Uh, so that the beauty of the white woman does not disappear from the earth. All of that, you found out that you were wrong, 100% wrong about Taylor Swift and about Kanye West, because who is the one who comes out, uh, reveals his true self, reveals uh, that uh, he knows uh, what's really going on in Hollywood, he knows what's really going on in the entertainment industry, he's against all the sleaze. He is based, as it turns out. Kanye West, all this while, was based. And he dared to come out and say, you know, and, and uh, be against Hillary Clinton and be pro-Trump. And, uh, and, you know, just, just uh, and take a stand against pornography and, uh, and take a stand for wholesomeness. And all these things, all these things, Kanye becomes this, uh, this emblem of basedness. And Taylor Swift becomes, turns out to have been just another whore. Just another blonde, white, western, uh, degenerate, deracinated, anti-white, anti-male whore. Isn't it interesting how things manifested in due time? And every, but everything that everybody was thinking 
back in 2009, was diametrically opposed to what the truth really was. Who the good guy was, who the bad guy was, who was based, uh, and who was paused. It was the exact opposite. Upside down world. Crisscross. Y'all were punked.